Today's update started with a press conference by Boise Police. Hopes were still high and the search for the five-year-old was still going strong. And then less than two hours later, another press conference was held. This one announced the nonverbal boy with autism who walked on his toes and liked water was found in a nearby canal, but not alive. Matthew went missing from his fifth birthday party last night at around 6. Authorities quickly responded. Drones, canines, UTVs, ATVs, and searchers blared his favorite nursery rhyme, The Wheels on the Bus. Boise Fire sent 15 firefighters, two engines, a brush truck, and a dive team to search canalways. Obviously, in hopes of finding Matthew, the waterways were obviously a, a significant concern from the very beginning. And so we've focused a lot of our efforts and our, a lot of our search um, efforts in that area. But sadly, so that is where Matthew's life was taken. During the first press conference, Chief Weiniger said Matthew's mom shared he was drawn to the water, but at the time they had no evidence to suggest he had gone towards a canal. The Boise Police Department, Boise Fire, the Idaho Mountain Search and Rescue, along with loved ones, searched for Matthew for just under 20 hours before his body was found in a canal half a mile from his home. It is heartbreaking to have such a, such a conclusion to this effort when we had so hoped to find Matthew alive and well. Chief Weiniger says initially a child abduction response was activated but called the boy's death a tragic accident. We appreciate all of the outpouring from this community uh, in, in this event, but uh, we would ask now uh, as just the, the beginning of the time for healing, which may take a very long time, certainly in the, under these circumstances. Almost 70,000 people were informed of the search for Matthew through community notifications. And as the community rallied to help search for him, they'll rally to support his family. Reporting in studio, I'm Savannah Hankard.